Good evening. My name is Zora Bender from Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church, where Reverend Charles K. Bender is my pastor, and we're here for another lesson. So we're going quickly to Romans 7, 21. That's Romans 7, 21. And I know you've heard it before. I find a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. When I would do good, evil is present with me. And for a subject, we're going to talk about something in my way. Something in my way. In our scripture, I know you've heard it said differently because I read different versions. When I would do good, evil is always present. It didn't say sometime. It said it's always present. And I'm going to give you the definition for evil. Evil means something bad or wrong done on purpose. Wickedness. Anything that causes pain, harm, or suffering. That's what evil is. And keep in mind, I said, it's done on purpose. So you can't allow people to do stuff to you. And then they say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Because it's done on purpose. Evil is prevalent in our fallen world. But God is able to turn it around for our long range good. We are not left on our own to cope with problems. When we don't know what to say in our prayers, the Holy Spirit prays with and for us. So pray and then, listen what I say, pray first. And then listen for God's answer. So let us pray. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, help me know evil when I am faced with it. And help me to overcome evil with good. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And remember, we're going to talk about something in my way, personally. Something in my way. And the question come up, what is in our way? And I hope you know the answer from our scripture. Evil. We just said it's always present. So evil is in our way. And I went to 1 Timothy 6.10 that says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrow. So you have to be careful. We all need money. And it's very important. But do not fall in love with it. Because if you do. It produces evil. The second question come up. How should we feel about evil? In Romans 12. 9. The B portion says. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. And abhor means to hate it. Hate it so much that you don't want to do it. The third question, what do we call evil? Do we call it right or do we call it wrong? Isaiah 5, 20, the eighth portion says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And we know when the Lord say woe, that means pay close attention because something is getting ready to happen. And the last question that I came up with, how do we overcome evil? How do we overcome evil? Romans 12, 21 tells us, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. When people treat you bad, treat them good. And I know it sounds hard sometimes, but this is what the Lord tell you to do. This is how you overcome evil. You be good to those who do bad to you. So if you want to know what's standing in your way, let's go to Galatians 5, 19 through 21. And I had to do a lot of research on that one. And in Galatians 5, 19, 21, I hope you know what's there. The works of the flesh. And how each one of these, you can run it back to money, the love of money will cause all these works of the flesh to be evil. Adultery, 
fornication, uncleanness, witchcraft, hatred, and on and on and on. There are 15 of them, and these are evil things that stand in our way. So, in my conclusion, I want you to turn to Romans 8, 28, and I want you to memorize this because you need to know it. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And his purpose is for us to do good and give him the glory. So realize what's standing in your way. Thank you.